everybody. Welcome to The What Now with Jeff Weber. My guests come from all corners of the music business and the entertainment business as we examine careers and perspectives from the inside out. To have a career in our business, it takes a lot more than simply being amazing at what you do. And with the world and our business being in such a swirling cyclone of trepidation, uncertainty, and outright speculation, we try to answer the question on all of our minds, what now? I am unbelievably pleased to welcome Christina Liang from Taipei, Taiwan, to uh, my show today. Uh, Christina is a fantastic, highly celebrated film composer in Taiwan and is busier than uh, I have, you know, just, it, it's just monumental that she even has the time to do this. Uh, a little bit about Christina she focuses mostly on uh, um, concerts, uh, television shows, film. She is an arranger and a composer, and uh, I, I'm truly honored to have her with us. Uh, our relationship is interesting because it, it spans uh, almost two decades. And um, I'm, I, I'd like, Christina, why don't you uh, explain uh, how our association developed and how it came to being with, with the records that we've done and what we're doing now. Hi, hello, Jeff. It's so nice to be here. Uh, yeah, I think we went all the way back to almost 20 years ago, right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Oops, uh, the age <laughs> revealed. Um, yeah, uh, you were my teacher back in UCLA Extension, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember you taught music business, is that right? That's right. Record production like and music yeah. business. Right, right. And then uh, I remember, I don't know what's got gotten into me, and I just uh, show you my uh, demo uh, on the music, uh, and the music that I did, you know, like it's the style of, you know, like crossing over Western music and Eastern music together. And you, I remember you were thrilled when you listened to my demo, and, and that's how our uh, relationship began. <laughs> it was amazing because I, I do remember that <clears throat> your be, because you spent so much time in the United States and so much time outside the United States, you had a love and a respect for not only the uh, the culture and the storytelling and the instrumentation of your culture and where you were brought up, but you also had a reverence and an understanding of American Western music and so it was your compositional qualities when you created this uh, kind of mashup for example you know it really spoke to me because it combined rhythm and storytelling that uh really amped me up at the time i, I thought it was uh, fascinating uh, and uh, just to continue with what christina what you were saying is that we decided to uh, work together in uh, Los Angeles. And yeah. we made a record that featured both Western instrumentalists and Eastern in instrumentalists. Some of the instruments I had never even seen before. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it was, it, it was such an interesting thing. I remember that first record. <clears throat> we had, you know, two percussionists. One guy just sat on the floor. Right. And, <laughs> yes. and, and he was doing things that, that we hadn't even seen. You know, he would he would uh, yeah. bang on a gong and then dip it in water, you know. So the exactly. vibration of the Yeah, I mean, it was just. A, 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 that was, was awesome. A, was an explosion <laughs> of untried, uh, you know, untried things that really uh, worked for us. And it, mm -hmm. it was it, it was unique. It was different. Uh, it, it, but it also told a story. And, and, and I like to talk about that a little bit because your music, your creations, each song tells a story. How does that come about? Uh, well, since I'm also a, a film composer in Taiwan, uh, so, you know, a lot of my music came out from uh, the story, po uh, story point of view. Uh, so, you know, I'm not that kind of a composer where I just all of a sudden got a melody and I have to sit down in front of the computer <clears> and then start writing, you know, music. I really have to uh, understand uh, the story or the music that I'm about to write 
in order to write something out. So almost all my music contains some sort of story. Hmm. That's how I compose. Yeah. Or you get really angry about something that you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Correct. <laughs> so you you write something. We'll talk more about that in a little while. But that that yeah. first that first recording really you know uh, set the, my creative ear on its side because uh, you know we entered into territories that you know a lot of people uh, won't understand and uh, the fact that you know people who create music have a tendency to be more open to unique and wonderful cross pollinizations it. it it created an amazing, uh, you know, when people hear it, it's, it's, they, they've never heard anything like this before yet. It has the familiarity with groove and yet there are instruments and, and, uh, you know, Chinese, uh, music and musicians that, you know, a lot of Western people have never heard. So it's, it's, it's a wonderful introduction. And, you know, uh, Christine, you've, you've spent a lot of time, um, in Taiwan, you know, doing films and, and doing live shows and everything. And, and we're going to, and you've, you've done records and you've won, you know, tons of awards, uh, for your music and your records in Taiwan. And, um, you know, we're one of the, the things that I love the most is that, you know, about a year or two ago, was it a year or two ago? you know, over a year ago, you decided it's time to make another record uh, over here, you know. And that's yeah, also um, because of you, because you keep buzzing me <laughs> and ask me when I'm gonna finish my record. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, but you could just say no, no. You know, I've moved on from you, Jeff. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> going as they say yeah. in, in the record business a lot. Oh, we're moving in another direction. <laughs> exactly right but, but I, I do appreciate it though i mean because uh you haven't uh, forgotten me and then just keep you know pushing me for you know the limit so you know i i just decided that you know i i have to go for it if someone believed in me so much you know why not myself you know i i, I really should do this you know as well the great part is is that we we looked at who we had on the record and you decided that you wanted all of the same musicians back and mm -hmm. all of them rose to the occasion. And we, right. we, uh, we had a last minute, uh, substitution, which was fantastic. Um, but everybody from 15 years ago or longer <laughs> yes. remember. Yeah. Longer. Right. And came back. That, that was amazing. Yeah. That was really, I, I really appreciate it very much it was it was fantastic now you have to understand that that in this this you know because i'm not exactly familiar with the history of of the the eastern musicians who were just mm -hmm. freaking out of this world uh the western <laughs> musicians you know if, if you if you love music you you would recognize the names um you know vinnie Caliuta was the drummer um you know probably one of the most celebrated drummers in the history of recorded music. Amazing uh, drummer, yeah. Amazing, you know, uh, look him up, Vinnie Caliuta, Rhonda Smith on bass. Again, you can't, you know, she's the bass player with Jeff Beck and she's she's <laughs> from Prince, you know. And yeah. <laughs> Marty Walsh was in Super Tramp and he was our guitar player. Mm. And, you know, uh, and we, had, we our percussionists are Doppel. with him. And Ambrosia, yeah, Doppo was with John Legend as one of our, our yeah, our, our piano player and, and and Demi Lovato and Justin Bieber and you know on and on and on and these all happened subsequent to working <laughs> with you on the first record so right uh, for, for I was them, so lucky for them to come back and uh and do this with us was uh just fantastic and uh this time around the music was far more in a way, complex. It was more mm -hmm. intricate. I mean, uh, you you did such an amazing job with the composition and the arrangements, and you knew exactly what you wanted to tell that story that you wanted to tell. Um, you know, uh, tell us a little bit about that. This record, you know, as a as how it came about. Um, yeah. We, I, I remember we still included uh, two songs from the preview, previous record. 
that you read. And then, um, right. <laughs> and then uh, I just uh, added a few more songs, you know, to update, you know, what I did uh, the past few years uh, on composition. Um, and yeah, uh, I was thinking because um, instrumentation wise, uh, I wanted to be as, uh, you know, variable as I possibly can be, you know. So I try to, you know, not only use just few uh, Chinese instruments, but I try to expand the library that we can do. And then, of course, you know, the Western uh, musicians are still the, the top lines from what we did, you know, 15 mm -hmm. years ago. And um, yeah, and I just feel like I need to include something more uh, for for the uh, listeners, you know, like in style, mm. in composition, in instrumentation, and everything that's you know I can possibly offer, because you know I mean the the way that people listen to music or uh, purchase music is very different from let's say you know ten years ago, not even twenty years ago, because the streaming service starts, uh, and then you know people is not loyal to so-called like one album anymore you know they want to get more things so they can have a choice of buying maybe this song from this collection and that song from that collection so they can have their compilations uh, what they want to uh, have and so i just thought you know uh if i can possibly include all the things you know in every style that we can in this album that would be awesome so therefore we have jazz pop rock heavy metal, ballad, Chinese, and in everything song. that you can, <laughs> all in one album. <laughs> so, and what's Hence, interesting is it's, it's crazy. It's, it, you know, there's time signature changes. Uh, there's, uh, you know, you go from one style of music to the another, another style of music within the same song. So th this, this is not like, a pop song where a great musician can come in and, and pretty much nail it without having to see it. You know, we, right, you right. carefully crafted uh, demos that we sent to uh, everyone so that they could, <laughs> so that they could, uh, <laughs> uh, as they say, shed it. And, and, you know, I got, I got calls from people going <laughs> like, excuse me, but what? You know, and <laughs> it, it's challenging, you know, the, the, the biggest reward that I got is, is when these wonderful musicians who can do anything and play anything go, holy mackerel, this is something, <laughs> you know, this, this is, this is not for the weak of heart. And, uh, it's, it, it, it came out, um, well, I think everybody had, wouldn't you say everybody had a great time? Yeah, I think everyone was so happy about it. And sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, like mess things up with every musicians, but you know, I just love this way of writing. You know? Are you kidding? It's more, <laughs> it's more in the, uh, the approach of, uh, you know, like film scoring uh, kind That's of right. style because you know, <laughs> this record is very it's cinematic. story based. Right. Yeah. And it's very story cinematic. based. And every musician <clears throat> thanked me. And thank you for, you know, pulling them out of the musical doldrums, you know, <laughs> after you do, you know, a jingle, after you do the same pop song, you know, <clears throat> same format every single time, here comes something that is just going to set you upside down and sideways and twist you inside <laughs> out. The real great musicians say, thank you for allowing me to be on a musical vacation with you. And, and really that's, yeah, no, that's what this was. The, the, I mean, it's, pleasure is all mine and the honor is all mine it's it, you know the, there's sound there's sound effects there's there's so much pre-records and there's so many different unique uh atmospheres i guess you could say and then the real band i mean uh right. in, in my way of working I, I love the combination of all those things as it creates an emotional moment musically and uh i i know that uh I know that this record is special and I know that everyone had called me or texted me how glad they were to be a part of it because it is so unique and it is so refreshing and it is so next generation, believe it or not. And it is so cinematic and that's the way you write. Now, uh, Tell us about. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, the, the record and everything, but I want to. I want to just mention the uh, 
you know, the film that you scored in Taiwan about the, the boxer, mm -hmm. uh, the, the fighter rather. Tell us about that a little bit. Right. Um, okay. Um, this is a, a documentary film and it's about a uh, MMA fighter, the mixed martial art fighter, uh, Jeff. He um, used to work for uh, this e economic um, business. Uh, mm. I think he's an invest uh, investment banker and mm. he used to make tons and tons of money. And all of a sudden, he just decided not to make money anymore, and he wants to go into the boxing business. Hmm. And, and that scared the hell out of everyone in his family, his friends, even his ex-wife. Can't imagine more. And, oh, even his ex-wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> so he uh, devoted a lot of time uh, on training himself, you know, and then he went to Thailand, aka to do the professional training. And then he started uh, fighting in the professional realm. And then he got a lot of awards and then he fights all the way up to the top. And, uh, and he, he got such a phenomenon, um, you know, like, very uh, rewarding uh, feedback from everyone. So he decided to quit his job and um, that's what he do. And, you know, as you know, this kind of fighting, if you win, you get some sort of money. If you lose, you get nothing, mm -hmm. but you go home with bruises and wounds and broken bones and everything, you know? So uh, it's pretty challenging in the value of, uh, at, at least, you know, Taiwanese, because, you know, uh, the Taiwanese parents always want their sons and daughters to become doctors, lawyers, and, right. and you know, like a steady job and then, you know, gets paid well. But with this, are you crazy? Right. I mean, his dad freaked out. And then since then, I think he, he's not talking to his son anymore. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, how, how did they find yeah. you to create the score? Uh, the, the director happened to be uh, my student, uh, where I, I taught in the university and mm. I taught film scoring uh, in Taiwan uh, art school. And uh, so he, he was the, the film department uh, student. And so, yeah, That's he great. decided to do this film What's the after name of the graduating. Film? Uh, it's called uh, The Road Less Traveled. And it's available. Uh, can we see it here in the United States? Uh, it just got out of the, the cinema, so I think it's going to take a couple months for the DVD to come out. Oh, perfect, perfect. Now, uh, the record that, that you finished with, with us is called Eternal Journey, and uh, uh, that's available uh, everywhere, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, you know, if, you, if you're interested in something really unique... But also, where can uh, people find you? Uh, your tell us your website. Uh, Chihuiliang.com. Uh, C H I H U I L I A N G. Okay, C H Chihuiliang.com. Okay. C H I H U I L I A N G dot com. All right. One more time, slowly. Okay. C H I H U I L I A N G dot com. Uh, dot com. Yes, yes. Uh, and I'm really proud of the fact that you did the score for a an American documentary um, about uh, a very important uh, incident in uh, our history, and it's it's okay. one of your first uh, one of your first ventures into the U.S. film world. Is that is that true? Correct. In, yes. And this one is called The Port Chicago Incident. And uh, you turned in your score. It was very dramatic and, and, and captured the, you know, the, the emotion uh, of, of what exactly uh, the, the issues were at, in World War II at, at the time. Uh, how did you find that process? What was your process in, in, in working on that? Um, well, I mean, the process for me to begin scoring a film is always to look at the film like numerous times. Mm -hmm. And then until I can find a, a, a in point for music and out points as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and also I have to analyze the film to the point that I can 
come up with some themes and、uh, motives to serve the film, to serve the the image and the story and and all that.、Mm-hmm. So I came up with the、uh, three、um, thematic material. Like one is,、uh, you know, the the tragedy of the Port Chicago incident, and、uh, the other one is、uh, about you know like the segregation. Uh, talking about black black sailors and the white sailors,、right. and then the third one is more like a、uh, patriotic、uh, right. theme. Yeah, right. I love the you know the, the differences between the three themes. One theme and the patriotic theme has more brass elements to it, and、uh, another thing,、uh, one of the other themes is、uh, more drama based, and it has more of a build to it,、uh, and and your score has a tendency to build over time and and kind of.、Uh, You know, capture that emotional、uh, impact that the documentary is tr- trying to display.、Uh, it, it's 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 not an easy job, but I think you you did a you you did really you re- you did really well with it, and I'm re- very proud of of, of what you did.、Um, you know, we're we're still we're, you know we're still kind of figuring out you know where it's going to lay exactly and everything, and of course. My attitude is is that whatever level the score is at in the documentary, it's too low. Needs to be up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just that's just privately me talking as the music soup on the dock.、Uh, but that's what's going to happen.、Um, uh, and tell tell me about what you're doing now in Taiwan because you know all of a sudden the floodgates have opened for you and you're busy yet again. What's going on? Right. Uh, I'm working on this、uh, project where I uh, uh, am commissioned uh, to uh, make a piece for、uh, Taipei Chinese Orchestra,、mm-hmm. and、uh, yeah, so the the concert will be at the end of this year, December, I,、mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah, so I'm writing this story、uh, about Mazu. It's a Goddess in Taiwan.、Uh, well, I wouldn't say Taiwan. It's also you know south coast of China and Taiwan. The,、mm-hmm. This this you know belt, and、uh, so Mazu is a goddess who saves lives from、uh, the seamen, because you know we have a lot of uh, <clears throat> uh, incident you know <laughs> claimed by the seamen、uh, mm-hmm. that、uh, they went out and then encountered some storms and some danger, and Mazu came to save them. And、mm. you know, spare their yeah, spare their lives. You know, I mean, even though it, it could be like fairy tales and all that, but you know, the the seamen in Taiwan, south coast、uh, of China, the people really, really believed in Mazu. So I decided to you know, write yeah the music for her. And and how long? I mean, it, it, I mean, how how long?、Uh, the 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 piece is about ten minutes. It's、I、a、gotcha. big orchestral piece. Yeah. Wow. And that'll be performed live. Yes, in December. In December, it, with people, without people. Uh, with uh, with people. Uh, in Taiwan, we're pretty much normal. We don't have、uh, any COVID situation or COVID cases. How fantastic! Here in California, <laughs> the land of the moron,、uh, we're still、uh, struggling <laughs> with that. You might say. Um, Please wear masks. It's very important because Taiwanese w- do wear masks everywhere, and it really helps. Well. I think some of us are still getting the message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, all right. So uh, uh, now, when we did your record and when you did、uh, the MMA film,、uh, you you received tremendous amount of publicity in Taiwan for that. Right. And and so that you hired a publicist to provide you with、uh, outlets and newspapers and television shows, right? Yeah,、uh, he's actually a long-term friend of mine as well. We know each other for ten years, and he's very helpful in that respect. I gotta say, I, so I, I got. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I, from what I can gather, man, he did you a solid because you were everywhere. <laughs> yes,、uh, newspapers, magazines, and radio shows, and yeah,、uh, yeah, I'm everywhere. <laughs> I think I think it's fantastic. The、uh, the the Taiwanese equivalent to the Grumpies. Oh, I'm sorry, the Grammys. I call them the Grumpies because <laughs> everyone's always upset.、Uh, so, <laughs> the the Grumpy. I mean, the Grammys、uh, is what in、uh, Taiwan? Uh, Golden Melody. The Golden Melody. 
Uh, and yes. How, are there a lot of different categories or how does that work? Uh, yeah, we, we do. Uh, we have big uh, two categories. One is the tra towards more traditional music. And then the other one is like the main stream pop, rock, jazz, uh, film scoring kind of music. So and, does, does yeah, this fit so, into that category? Does Eternal Journey fit into? I I think this time I'm, I'm going to go for it because the, the album that I uh, did 10 years ago, I went for the traditional uh, category and then I had four nominations and two uh, awards winning. But this time I'm going to go for the mainstream ones. Awesome. So do they have a big to do? You know, like a big, uh, yeah. a big party, a big <laughs> celebration, a big ceremony. Is it? Yeah, televised? they, they usually come? also have the red carpet and the red uh, carpet. Yeah, after parties and all that. Yes. <laughs> I want to come, but I have to lose about 800 pounds first. You know. <laughs> no. Uh, so, uh, but you have to go through two two weeks of quarantine, though. <laughs> well, when is it? Hopefully this whole thing will nah, we'll be uh, Yeah, I hope. Uh, next summer. Uh, next July, yeah, oh. July or June. Well, we we, like we might have we might have gotten we might have taken care of business. Uh, I I hope we will. Um, yeah, you know, that'll that'll be interesting. So I, I'm I'm really pleased. Uh, I only have one request, and I think you already know what it is. I would prefer not to wait another 15 years before your next record with us. Okay, do we have that? Can we have like a pinky uh, swear about that, please? Okay. I promise. <laughs> we had too much fun. Come on. I know. I know. But I just have to, you know, make you know, my you, funds. Yeah, you you, you, know, <laughs> yeah. you, you got to get some yeah. serious. I mean, look, first of all, this record is not an insignificant amount of money. And uh, you did it right from the very beginning all the way to the amazing packaging and design of the compact disc. I mean, this... This we don't really see hardly ever in the United States. The amount of care and the designer, the young designer that created this package. May, may I may I show a little bit? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> okay, this is the album. Please, I mean it's really amazing, and this is the sleeve outside. And then you know, like when you put them together, you see uh, uh, here. Yeah, the, 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 you know, like profile on my face. And then here it's all like crazy stuff inside. And then once you slip out of the, the sleeve, mm -hmm. and then there's a. Da -da 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 <laughs> In English okay. and Chinese. <laughs> yeah, okay. The other side is the English and Chinese uh, of the program. And here's the CD. Now the CD is interesting because and, it doesn't fit on a spindle. It slides into kind of like a little, yeah. I don't know what you, you call have to it. To slide in, but there's uh, something underneath the CD. Explain what that is. Oh yeah, okay. This here, it's um little um, ta -da, little paper, and then this paper is magic because you can put it into the soil. And then add water every day, and then let it sun a little bit, and it will grow something out of this paper. See, that's we don't <laughs> we don't really do that here in the United States. You know, uh, it, it's kind of the, the the coolest. And thank you so much for actually doing this because uh, this is not in uh, this is not a cheap package. And I got to say one thing about the uh, the production the the, the the plants in Taiwan are magical. Oh my God, they they do stuff <laughs> right the first time and quickly, and uh, yeah. you know it's it, it's really really something. So I'm 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 super pumped about uh, the whole project from A to Z. You really uh, put your money where your mouth is and let this thing go, and it was just really a joy. Uh, now, as far as uh, I'll just leave you with this one last thought. The music industry, is, as, as we know it, is in turmoil. I don't think anybody really has an idea of what really is happening. But let me ask you a question, um, okay. and, and that's kind of going back to the, the name of the show. What now for you? I mean, yes, you've got this uh, score that you're doing, but, but how are you, you know, are you feeling good about your prospects? Are you feeling great about the business where you are? 
you know, how are you developing your brand? What's what's happening to you? Uh, well, <clears throat> making music is always hard. It, it's not an easy job. But uh, I, I think as long as I live, I will just keep on doing it, mm. money or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean it. Right. All the way. Well, it's your yeah. passion. You know, it's your blood, you know. Uh, and by the way, I'll be doing it with you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so uh, it you're not, you're just going to do what you love to do regardless of what is occurring uh, in our industry, which I love. I love the comment of saying yeah. what is happening is not affecting your ability to move forward creatively and keep pushing out your music uh, because it's important. Right. And and not a lot it of artists can say that, but uh, that's what, that's what makes you uh, a great artist is that, you're going to do your stuff no matter what, period. End of story. Yes, I'm determined. Solidly determined. Amen, sister. That's what we love about <laughs> y'all. You know, there, there is nothing <laughs> more than you. determined than a woman who has a goal. And, if, you know, anybody who gets in that way will be demolished. I'm telling you firsthand. But uh, thank, you. thank you, Christina, uh, uh, for taking the time. And, and, and getting well, up. Thank you, Jeffrey, for having me on the show. <laughs> well, it's it's like four and five o'clock here, but it's 8 a.m. in Taiwan. So I appreciate it. Yeah, you. I usually sleep until 10. <laughs> just I was going to say, thank you very much. Uh, you can, no, no, no. You can, it's my You can go back to sleep honor. or the kids will wake you up anyway. So. Uh, they're already up a long time ago. <laughs> well, uh, please give my love to everyone and uh, thank we, you. We'll, we'll talk shortly. And thanks so much for doing something so spectacular. Uh, it, it, it's Thank a musical you. moment that needs to be shared with a great number of people. I'm honored to be a small part of your journey. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. I'll see you later.